Mayor Joe Hogsett focusing on education in his third term in office. It's a challenge with nearly a dozen districts sharing students and resources all across Marion County. CBS 4's Russ McQuay joins us now in the studio with more on the mayor's vision for education. Good evening, Russ. Hey there, Bob. It's not that education across Marion County is totally failing. It's just not succeeding as well as it should. And Mayor Hogshead is saying smarter children will be the key to all of Indianapolis's future success. Marion County student scores and achievement are slowly recovering from the dark days of the pandemic shut in, though they were struggling before COVID came to town. I, Joseph H. Larson, do solemnly swear. As he took an oath of office for the third time, Joe Hogsett said he would put his legacy on the line and seek a reboot of all of Marion County public education. And there is no better place for a mayor to find a vision for the future of a city than in a classroom. And there's work to be done. According to the state's 2023 I Learn test results, when it comes to English language arts and math, science, social studies, only a quarter of Marion County's third through eighth graders, give or take, are proficient. We are not where we need to be. So we have a lot of work to do to make sure that you know, children that are growing up in Indianapolis are truly set up for the best future possible. There are 11 different school districts in Marion County. Some are having more success than others. We've got school districts that are really hitting hard the science of reading and are helping our third graders to increase their reading proficiency. We've got districts that are doing language education really well. The key will be for the mayor to get everyone around the big table to agree on goals and methods and sharing resources to truly put all of Marion County's children first. We've got to stop thinking about education in these tiny little silos, whether that's township or whether that silo is a charter school or whether that silo is a private school. I look forward to seeing how, how this is all figured out. I really do. I've requested a sit down interview with the mayor to talk about his vision for education. I'm still waiting for that call back. His advisors tell me no one should expect a quick and easy solution, which is why Hogshead made his education reboot announcement on the first day of his next four years in office. Bob?